Welcome back. Instead of doing a quiz for this week, I thought we would have a very short drafting um, project. Just focused on one thing, and that would be the introduction to what is called a 3D sketch. Ironic. This whole class has been 3D sketching, but if you'll notice over here, we've been working in what's called a 2D sketch. Every time we draft something or sketch something, we sketch it in two dimensions, then we connect it by a third dimension, like through extrude or some of these other commands. Um, just to show you the advantage, and by the way, the 3D sketch is found under this triangle right here. And you get a whole different set of menu choices that look very familiar. Um, you can see on the build plate here, we have a seven millimeter circle that is 25 degrees off from this axis right here. 15 millimeters from the center dot. Okay. And then upwards, we have a five millimeter circle, a little smaller. It is 13 millimeters from the center of the circle to the center of the origin. And it's on a 48 degree angle from this axis right here. We want to connect these two. Now normally what we've learned so far is to use a loft command. And then we choose our circles, like we'll choose that one. And we'll choose that one. And of course it gives us a straight line, but we also know that under conditions we can doctor it a little bit. Like that. Okay? But here's the thing thing. You'll notice it gets a little tight right here in this section here. It tends to flatten or dog bone the sketch right here. It's not as round. And so that's the best the computer's doing for us. Well, that's not good enough. Um, there is another way to do this. And we're going to do that for this example. What we'll do is we will remove that loft. We'll delete that loft that we just put in. We'll go back to here and then I will show you how to create a 3D sketch and we will sketch this line right here which will be what the loft command will follow and then it will look better and is customizable. That's the beauty of that. So let's begin. Oh, and just to show you the loft command to it, we'll choose our circles like we did before. And of course it does that, but if you choose the center line option right here and choose our custom center line, there you go. And now it's round all the way around. And it's not flat. It has not flattened out like it did if you just let the computer do it. And of course, it transitioned from a seven millimeter to a five millimeter, which is cool because now you can just shell it out, and now you have a pipe. Or for you motor enthusiasts, kind of an exhaust header, or the sort of one, the holy grail of 3D design. <laughs> so okay. All right, let's go over how to make one of these. Uh, let's start a new sketch. And I want to make sure I'm in metric. If you worked in English doing the bolt, you probably still have English chosen and that's going to throw you off. So make sure you're in metric. Create it. And of course, the uh, one of the first things we're going to do is, oh my goodness, that was too big. There we go. We're going to draft these circles first. Okay. So I suggest strongly that you make all the axes available visible. Make the X, Y, and Z axes visible so you can see them all. Perfect. Let's draw the bottom one first. And the bottom one, I believe, is the larger of the two, the seven millimeter. Okay, 
so. Ah, make sure that we are in 2D sketch because I was in 3D for a second. Here's where you don't forget to toggle right here with that little triangle. And we start with a 2D sketch. And we'll just start right here. And we want a circle somewhere out here. And about seven millimeters. Let's make it seven millimeters. That was pretty close. Okay. And then with the line command chosen, make sure you choose construction line. Okay. Make it a construction line. We're going to go from the center of that circle to the center of the origin. Hit escape. And we will dimension from that axis to that construction line. We're going to change that to 25 degrees. Yep, 25 degrees. No, it's right here. Okay. And the length of this line, we still have dimension chosen. Now, the first time we click on it, it wants to do this funky thing where it goes from that axis. We go back, click on it again, and now you should be able to get just the length of that line, which I believe is 17 millimeters. We'll change it to 17, we'll double check, make sure. Ah, 15. Good thing we double checked. 15. Okay. So that was 15. All right, so let's do our this finish the sketch because we're done with that that direction. Now we're going to do one up this way. So we'll make sure we're doing a two D sketch. We're going to do as much two D sketching as we can, and we're going to pick this plane right here. And we're going to sketch our circle up here somewhere. Let's just get right to it. And that construction is turned off. Uh, this circle is going to be, I believe, five millimeters. Let's double check. Yeah, that will be five millimeters. Of course, we can always check it with this one. Um, five millimeters, 48 degrees, and 13 millimeters from the center. So, five millimeters. I'm going to pull this down a little bit because I have a feeling it's going to grow on us. Um, okay, dimension is chosen, but let's turn our construction line on and do a construction line from the center of the circle to the center of the origin. Hit escape to turn that off. Let's put our 48 degrees in now. So click that, click that, and make it 48 degrees. Is that correct? Yes, it is. 48 degrees. And now we need the 13 millimeter distance. And let's do that. We'll click on that line. Of course, it's doing that again, so we'll click on it again. We'll put it up here, so it's out of the way. 13 millimeters. Double check. Yep, 13 millimeters. Okay. So that sketch is done. So we'll just pull it down here. And now, just to kind of show you what we're looking at, is we have a circle down here and a circle up here, and we want to connect them. So now we're going to do the 3D sketch thing. So I like to do this right here. I'll take and hit like my right side so that I can see the sketches. And I'm going to make them visible. Okay, good. That one is visible. And that one is visible. I want to make sure because we're going to need to refer to them here in just a second. We'll need their center dots is what we're after because we're going to draw our our line. Okay, so let's make sure they're squared out. 
let's start a 3D sketch. And we'll do a line. And we'll find that center dot, which is right about there. And you know what? Just to make it easier, I'm going to tip it around a little so you can see what's going on here. Um, we'll find our center dot. And I'll click on it. Now notice it's got a, a base plane, another plane, and a third plane. If I click on this plane and this plane, I can make my line go straight up. Now I'm going to make it go straight up about five millimeters or maybe six. And eh, let's make it five. Somewhere in that area. And I'll click on it. Now I could just keep marching along, but it's just going to, well, I'm going to escape show you what we've done so far. Hey, okay, we've drawn a line straight up. Okay, now if I turn this to the right, I have the straight up line. I want this one to come straight out a little bit. Maybe, oh, maybe 10 millimeters. Let's try that just for grins. Let's find the center dot, which is right about here. Here, I'll turn it a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have the center dot and I'm going out with it, but I want to go out. I want to make sure that it follows that plane and that plane right there. So it goes straight out. And we'll make it five millimeters as well, or something close. Okay, now here's the cool part. We want to connect those two dots. Watch this. You can go to that dot right there and draw it right up there. Notice it's made like a big rectangle in outline. Click on it, hit escape. You have just connected two dots together without a plane. Now, let's smooth them out a little bit. Five millimeter is what I suggest you use. And what you do is you just touch this line here and click on it. Touch this line here and click on it and it knocks that, it puts that radius right in there. Okay, we're going to rotate a little bit and do the same thing with this one. We want this line here and this one right here. Beautiful. Look at that. We can finish this sketch now. That was a 3D sketch as opposed to a 2D sketch. And what that has done for us is it has allowed us to use the lock command. We can choose our circles like that one and that one. We can then choose this option to follow a center line and we'll use our center line. And look at that. There we are. And then the only last thing to do is shell it out so it truly is a pipe. Uh, one millimeter is fine. I would use that just because it gets tricky and it starts getting thinner. And that is your assignment for this week. Just build that. Okay. Just build that and upload it. And we will talk to you later.